The first round of the run-in in the championship was a very good one for us. On Good Friday, we got four scores correct out of the 12. Very happy with that. Millwall drawing one all with West Brom being the first, followed by Coventry beating Huddersfield 3-1, Preston beating Rotherham 3-0, and Sheffield Wednesday and Swansea drawing one all. Out of the other results, we only got two results out of the eight, so not too good. However, there were some shocks in there with Leicester, Leeds, and Southampton all dropping points, and I backed all of them to win. Also, Blues conceding that late, late losing goal against QPR. I had it down as 1-1, so that took a score and a result off us. But it was a good, good round. I'm just very disappointed that Blues just don't look like they can hold on to any sort of lead. I'm not sure we deserve to be leading in that game, but we just need to do better. It's the basics, again, defensively, that let us down. People not bothering to show for the ball poor clearances no closing down it's just not great a lot of the players look like they cannot be bothered which is always very very bad when it comes to a relegation battle however less of the focus on blues make sure to like and subscribe and we'll get in to monday's fixtures leicester against norwich Leicester, four points out of their last six games, which has seen them lose their pretty big lead at the top of the table, and now drop down to third. Leicester's capitulation is a very, very strange one, and I don't think they're going to get automatic promotion now, because they are, they, they've hit bad form at the wrong end of the season. They lost to Bristol City on Friday, and they've just been pretty poor. From what I'm seeing from Leicester fans, it's just very bad game management and people have highlighted that Enzo Moresca's inexperience as a head coach is just leading to him making very strange decisions in matches that are costing them points, wins, goals. So yeah, it's difficult for Leicester because everyone expected them to win the league, especially with the lead they built up, but now I don't fancy it. Norwich, much better form. They've only lost one out of ten. They've won three in a row. Could they go and make it four? Well, in the hunt for the playoffs, they could really do with making it four to solidify that sixth position. But I can't back Leicester to lose. I just really struggle to see it, even though it keeps happening. So I'm going to go one all. Blues against Preston up next. This feels massive. We don't have many home games left, so this is very, very important. I don't see how this is going to go. Now, Blues, very poor form. Venus had six games, one draw, five losses. Gary Rowett comes in, first game, and we lose it 2-1 to QPR. We were 1-0 up, but we allowed defenders to score from outside the box twice. Cook getting the first, Jimmy Dunn scoring a brilliant volley, and yeah, 92nd minute, we ended up losing any points, and we really could have done with something, because that puts a gap now between us and QPR, if we'd have won, we'd have gone ahead of them, if we'd have drawn, at least we'd have kept them in it, but that loss has handed QPR a massive boost in their hunt for survival, and to be fair, I just want to look how many times have we scored, we conceded, sorry, in the 90th minute or very late on in games. Against Southampton, it was 3-3, we conceded in the 96th minute. Against Millwall, 90th minute. Middlesbrough was early, but Watford was 44th minute, so it was right at the end of a half, but it was a massive mistake. And then QPR, 92nd minute to let go of another point so we are shooting ourselves in the foot we're not playing for the full game we're just tailing off at the end and we keep letting stupid errors go punished very disappointed with blues preston decent form they've won their last two games and they're fighting for playoffs you know they're only four or five points off it so Preston are really going to be up for this. I wish we were playing someone mid-table like, a, I don't know, a Bristol City or a Sunderland or someone like that. But 
unfortunately for us, we've got someone who's fighting for stuff. Our only saving grace is that we are okay at home. We tend to defend a bit better. We're the second worst away side in the league. So we need points or a point or something. A win would be brilliant, but I just don't see it. So I'm going to go one all optimistically. Coventry against Cardiff. Now for Coventry, it's three wins in the league in a row. And they're only four points off the playoffs with a game in hand. So Coventry are in a pretty good position at the moment. They are kind of set up the best to get into the playoffs out of everyone that's outside of it. But again, they need to outperform Norwich at this stage, which may be difficult. Cardiff, two back-to-back -back losses against Swansea and Sunderland, both 2-0. I'm going to go for a third. Coventry to win, 2-0. Middlesbrough v Sheffield Wednesday next. Five unbeaten for Middlesbrough. Three wins followed up by two draws. The latest was a one all against Southampton, so a very good point to be picking up. Sheffield Wednesday, they haven't won in three. It was two losses before the international break against Leeds and Ipswich. They came back and drew with Swansea one all. I... Uh... I don't know if this is just me being a bit biased as I don't want Sheffield Wednesday to get anything. I think Middlesbrough are in the better form at the moment and if they do want to go on a playoff push they have to pretty much win 6 out of 7 from here so it's going to be tough for them they are 9 points off it so probably not but a win here for Middlesbrough 2-1 Plymouth against Bristol City now this is difficult because Plymouth are fighting for their lives they haven't won in 5 and they've only won 1 out of 10 so they really, really need to pick up a win very soon because they are slipping down this table quickly. Bristol City, they, they're they okay at home recently. They've won their last two games. But away from home, it's three losses in a row. The flip side to that is, yes, one was against Sheffield Wednesday, but the others were Ipswich and West Brom. So how's it going to go? It's difficult to call. Maybe a draw, but with the fact that Plymouth are very poor at the moment, I'll back Bristol City to win it 2-1. Rotherham take on Millwall. And if Rotherham don't win, they will be relegated. Now, I know everyone has thought this is a long time coming. They are going to drop. And everyone's kind of said they are already relegated. But just for being official, then I think Monday is the day. I don't see them winning. And to be honest, this is a big opportunity for Millwall. If they win, they put themselves on 47 points. And you'd have to think they only probably need one win. Then out of their last six, 50 points will pretty comfortably do it. So Millwall, a massive step for them if they can win. And I've got a feeling they will do it. So Millwall to win 1-0. Stoke v Huddersfield, a big clash near the bottom. Again, Stoke, three wins out of their last five games. A big opportunity here to boost their point tally. If they win it, like Millwall, they could go up to 47, which you'd think would have them pretty much safe with a couple more points. Huddersfield, no wins in five. Their latest run, they drew one all with Leeds. Very, very good result. But then their last four... They've lost to Cardiff, West Brom, Coventry, and in the middle of that, they drew with Rotherham. So, not a good haul of points there. They really should be beating Rotherham, and they probably should be getting something from Cardiff. But Huddersfield are the one side that I do think will struggle to pick up more points than Blues. And I know Blues have been awful, but Huddersfield are not much better. So, for me... I can see Stoke putting themselves in the clear with a 2-1 win. Sunderland v Blackburn, another big one for the foot of the table. Now Sunderland, after those six losses in a row, they drew with QPR, they came back on Good Friday and beat Cardiff 2-0. So they've picked the form up a little bit again it seems, but it's too late. They've ruined their chances of playoffs with that awful six game losing run. Blackburn, since Eustace has came in, they've played nine and they still haven't managed a win. 
It's been a loss and three draws, followed by a loss and three draws, and then on Good Friday, a loss. So, potentially, this will be a draw, but I think it could be tight, but I've got a feeling Sunderland will win it 1-0. Swansea v QPR. It's one loss in six for Swansea versus one loss in seven for QPR. So, these two sides, both good at picking up points recently. Swansea drew with Sheffield Wednesday on Good Friday. Unfortunately, they couldn't get a win, which would have really helped Blues. QPR, well, they beat Blues, and this was Blues' own doing. We went 1-0 up. Didn't really deserve it. It was a bit of a snatch, but awful, awful defending from there on in. Letting two defenders score from outside the box. Again, I know I mentioned it in the intro, but so disappointed in Blues. We just did not look like we cared. And I think it's a slight problem of a lot of our players being out of contract in the summer. They're not going to be here. Why would they care? We've got a couple of loans in there. Again, not going to be here. And I think our main problem for me, yes, the midfield is physically weak. Stansfield doesn't do enough. He scored 1 in 12. He runs around. But again, it's the same sort of criticisms that we gave Scott Hogan. He runs and runs, but he snatches at chances. He, he's really started. I think he's getting frustrated that he's not scoring, and he's just not very composed at all at the moment. But I think he needs help. I think if you've got Jukovic fit, you put him up front with Stansfield, or you put Stansfield just in behind him, and it works. But the problem we've got, John Ruddy in goal. I know I feel bad because he is a, an experienced professional, but... The two centre-backs in front of him as well, whoever it seems to be, that triangle is a problem for us. I'd take Harley Dean back in a heartbeat, and that's saying something, because we did not like him, but at least at least he, he kind of did show up at points. He'd try and get everyone together, and we're really missing a leader. So it's been poor from Blues, very disappointed. But again, I'm getting on to Blues. This is about QPR, so apologies Brilliant from QPR, what a goal from Jimmy Dunn. That is a brilliant goal to win you a game and, well, get you out of a bit of trouble because that puts QPR on 43 points, four points above the relegation zone. If they can manage a win, again, you'd be looking Stoke Millwall territory. They're looking good, but I think they'll draw this, so I will go one all. West Brom v Watford next. Now the baggies... Seven unbeaten, four wins and three draws. They are currently seven points into the playoffs. Coventry are seventh with a game in hand, but you'd think West Brom, three more wins out of their last seven and they'll have nailed on the playoffs. Watford, being pretty good under Tom Cleverley. Of course, against Blues, Valerian Ishmael is sacked before the game and someone else steps in, which is Tom Cleverley. So they beat Blues 1-0, and then they draw 2 all with Leeds. Very good point to be picking up. This one's tough, but I do think West Brom's home form is brilliant, so that's the reason I'll go for them to win 2-1. Ipswich take on Southampton. Massive, massive game. Ipswich, 8 wins in 9. The only game that wasn't a win was that 2-1 loss against Cardiff where Ipswich were 1-0 up and they conceded 90 plus 5 and 90 plus 10 to lose it. So ridiculous circumstances, but Ipswich have gone top of the table. They were helped out massively on Good Friday by Leeds drawing, Southampton drawing, Leicester losing. Really, really helped them. Southampton's form has dropped off a bit. They did have two wins in a row, but then they drew with Middlesbrough on Good Friday. And it's it's difficult because Southampton are now looking like they're nailed on for playoffs, but they don't have a chance at automatics. And that kind of fell with West Brom for a while. But West Brom... Southampton have kind of made their own little league by themselves. So they've got a few games in hand. But they need a win here. They sh they had to beat Middlesbrough really. But you think they need to win here to pull themselves back in with any chance. But I don't see it. I think it's now a three-way battle. It's going to be a tough one. Ipswich, do they tend to perform against the top sides? Mm, not really. 
They lost both of the games played against Leeds. They were battered in both. They drew both with Leicester, which isn't too bad. The reverse of this, though, they did win away from home. So the one good thing is they've already beaten Southampton this season. So I fancy them to do the double. Ipswich to win 3-2. Leeds against Hull. This is the final game. Now, Leeds have been brilliant. 14-game unbeaten run. They did draw with Watford on Good Friday, which will annoy them because it means they're no longer top. Ipswich have leapfrogged them and Leeds are second. But again, Leeds, they're still unbeaten at home. So I don't see a chance for Hull here. And Hull, what's happening to them? Their form has dropped off massively. They're now six points off the playoffs. They do have a game in hand, but their last five, it's been four draws and then a loss against Stoke on Friday. Not very good from Hull. Leeds at home, again, I don't see a chance. So I'm going to go Leeds to win it 3-0. So those are my predictions for these championship fixtures. Let me know down in the comments what you think the scores will be. Maybe pick out a few games. There's a few relegation battles in here. There's Ipswich Southampton, which is the big one at the top end. Leicester Norwich as well. Both sides currently sitting in the playoffs, so another big one. And then the relegation battle, it's going to be a very, very tight game. Stoke Huddersfield, that's my pick. Just because of where Huddersfield are currently sitting, how will they get on? It's going to be a tight one, but hopefully, for Blues' sake, Blues can get something and teams around them are all going to lose. But I just don't see it happening. I do think this week... This Monday, sorry, could be the day we finally slip into the relegation zone. Rotherham will probably be relegated as well. Unfortunate for them, but it's been a very poor season. The only thing they'll want now is another three points so that they beat their record and they don't end up being the worst side in the championship again. They currently hold the record on 23 points. They're currently on 20, so... One more win to surpass that, or equal it at least. They just need something. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully Blues do well, and I'll see you next time.